Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a reverse stamping design. And this is inspired, of course, by Alice in Wonderland, and it's a vintage look. What gave me the idea to do Alice in Wonderland was Madame Glam's new collection that they came out with. It was called We're All Glam, and they said that the inspiration was from Alice in Wonderland. So I thought, well, you know, that's a good enough reason for me to do Alice in Wonderland. So let's get started. Here is the beautiful vintage plate that I'm using. It is from Beauty Big Bang, and I purchased this on AliExpress. I will put the link in the description box below for you if you are interested, but be forewarned, if you buy anything off of AliExpress right now, the wait is anywhere between three and four months. I kid you not, and it could be longer. So yeah. But anyways, if you look at that little deer head, I recently did a stamping design using that image. And if you want to follow the arrow, you can watch that video now. And here is the cute little bunny design that I'm going to use. And also there's Alice. The color that I'm stamping with is 903 Hot for Chocolate and it is from Revlon. The colors that I'm going to use to color in my image, they are jellies and they're from L'Oreal. I've had them for several years so I know they're probably not available anymore. This yellow is called Bananarama Love. The green is Cream de Mint. Orange Mango Mama. And the blue is Miss Pixie. And now that the image is stamped, it's time to color it in. Once you have your image stamped on the stamper, you want to let that dry completely for about 15 minutes. And that way it will help so that when you are painting the image with regular nail polish, it won't smudge as much, okay? So just remember that, let that stamped image dry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come in first with the blue and I'm going to paint her dress. And when you do this, you wanna kinda of just tap the polish on. Again, that is so that you don't smudge the image. All right, now a lot of times you can use the brush that's from the you know, polish bottle or you can use a small liner brush and some polish that's on a tile, that's what I do. Right here, you see me doing that right now. I'm using a liner brush and regular gel polish to get into the small sections on the stamped image here because you just can't get in those little sections with a big brush from the polish bottle. It won't work. So you can see me down here in the corner getting the polish on my brush and then coming back up and filling in parts of the image. I also keep a little dappin dish full of acetone so that I can clean out my liner brush in between each color. And here I am just filling in her skin color. And that's basically it. You just fill in wherever you want color, almost like a coloring book. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to flip the stamper upside down and take a look at it and see how it looks and see if I need to fill in anywhere with color because when you're looking at the image right here, this is how it's going to get stamped onto your nail. So I think that looks pretty good. I am going to set the stamper aside and let it completely dry for about 10 to 20 minutes. And while I'm doing that, I can just cap my stamper Put the cap on just like that and set it over there and no dust or anything will get on it or I, if I knock it over, it'll be safe. It won't get stuck to anything. Um, you could possibly store this maybe for a couple hours 
it wouldn't hurt it maybe the next day but I would say anything longer uh, it might get brittle and it might crack and the more stamper heads you have or stampers the more decals you can make at one time to apply the decal I'm going to be using McCart's nail art foil glue this is one that you have to cure in a lamp and you can also use very sticky base coats, regular base coats, but I don't have any of those right now. I do have one on order from Manology, so when it comes in, I will be demonstrating that one for you. For this video, I'm going to apply the foil gel glue on the image, okay? But you can also apply the foil gel glue on the nails directly and cure it too. It works either way. I guess it just is what preference you want to do, you know, it just really doesn't matter, I guess. If you take notice, you can see that I am just applying this foil gel glue only on the image, only on the image, not outside the image. The thing that I found out about using this foil gel glue with the decals or reverse stamping and doing it this way is that it makes the image like the decal a little bit thicker on the nail. And I kind of don't like that because it, you know, it raises it up on the nail a little bit and makes it a little bit more bulky. So I cannot wait for Manology to send my sticky base coat so that I can do these uh, reverse stamping images with that and see how much better it looks on the nail. And here is the bunny image. And I did it the same way, really. Same thing, I apply the foil gel glue to the bunny and then I will cure the images in the lamp for about 30 seconds to one minute. Here I'm just smoothing down the image, making sure it's flat with no wrinkles, and then I come in with a very fine grit file, and I just file any of the excess that's hanging over the nail. Before we top coat with any other top coat, gel top coat, regular top coat, or whatever, you're going to have to use a no smudge top coat, okay? And this is from the Born Pretty store. I highly recommend this. It does not smudge. No matter how many times you go over it, it will not smudge. That's the item number 42840. I have a coupon code, Denise20, for 20% off your order. So yeah, hurry on over to Born Pretty and pick this up because if you are a stamper or you want to get into stamping, this is something that you need to have. And once you apply this, two coats of it, then you can use a regular top coat or a gel top coat. And just look how many times I go over that and it does not smear. So I'll let this dry for a few minutes and then I'll come back in and give it a second coat and then I'm going to top coat it with a gel top coat. And now I'm going to use Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any more of my uploads. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.